Oh, sorry, I'm just giggling to myself. Tomato time on the 23rd. <laughs> anyway, what I got, um, Leventon F2S as usual. Do I need all this? Uh, I don't know. No, I'll use half of it for now. Mind you, I'm surprised how much those um, Agrilands take. A bit more, can always use it somewhere else. And this is nice and warm, it's been in the greenhouse, so uh, not that it really matters for seeds as such, because the seeds are cold anyway. And I'm putting some fine uh, vermiculite in with it, like I did last year, because I don't want um, some of these seeds are quite precious. There's, um, you know, I'm not going to get any more of these. And like I said last year, you only get a few in a packet with some of the purchased ones. You know, some of them are only four or five, six seeds, and I don't want to be wasting those by letting them rot. So I'm going to make it a bit more free draining. That's all. Moisture retentive and free draining at the same time. Don't let me sat in a puddle, that's all it is. Right then, I'm going to top these up and uh, bring you back. And only one seed in each, so I'm going to just drop them in the dimples. And uh, get rid of that, eh? Yeah, as I'll put it on here now. So I'm talking to myself, don't worry. Okay now, so in the Agrilands we have seven cells by seven cells. Here's my list. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put the list up on the, um, on the as a still in a minute. But obviously it's the gifted and the, um, the more precious, the rarer seeds that I'm going to do in here. Oh, so I'll tell you, I'm just going to read them out to you what I'm doing, okay? So let me just count a minute, one, two. There's 17 and I've got 14 slots. I know some of them I can do in something else, like the, the tumblers from me. I can do those in the jiffies or in the quarter cell tray. So I think we just see how we get on, eh? So, Alice's Dream from Ali. Best of all from the Heritage Seed Library. Uh, Blood Moon from Grown Local. Shirami, just, just seed, that's one of my favourites. It's a good, nice round show tomato, that one. Honeycomb, Grown Local again, that's another new one on me. Indigo Pear Drops, someone recommended that, so I bought that from Bargain Seeds. Kemmelworth King George from Nick, cheers buddy. Lima Korai, a determinate bush, that's from Heritage Seed Library again. Marbon F1 from Jason and Colleen. Meccano, Select Seeds, another good show one. Mortgage Lifter, that came from a few different people, um, Ali is one of them. Pink Accordion I bought from Just Seeds. Resistimate Pocketbook Vine. That was recommended to me. Rose Crush from Grown Local. That's, that's another one of the Crush family, like Crimson Crush and that lot, so it is a little bit blight resistant. Santium Sunrise from Nick. Uh, Sun Gold from Robinson's. Everyone recommends Sun Gold. Tim's Taste of Paradise from Robin. Cheers, love. Uh, where are we? Tumblr from me, from Tumblr from King Seeds. I love those. And White Lotus from Ali again. So Ali, the tomato queen at the moment. So I think it's going to label them all up. Um, Sodom, usual routine. I'll show you a couple and then we'll uh, have a little chat at the end, I suppose. You're not going to believe this. Have you ever been reading a book and just as you read the word, you hear it on TV or radio or someone says it? I think it's called uh, synchronicity. Anyway, I was just sat at the computer editing the, this video and I've just gone past the bit where I say, and Ali is the tomato queen. And there's a knock at the door and blow me if a letter doesn't arrive from Ali with loads of tomatoes in it. <laughs> I am, I will tell you what, it's so spooky. So I'm just going to put up, I'll, I'll put a little thing up now just to show you what these tomatoes are. And I've only ever heard of one of these before. We've got a Dr. Witch's Yellow, Dwarf Russian, Pink Boar, 
Michael Poland Green, Golden Accordion. I've heard of that one as well, sorry, yeah. Uh, Copper River, Captain Lucky. Uh, oops, let's fold it over. Costoloto Genovese, Black and Brown Boar. Black Beauty, that's the one I've heard of. And Hawaiian Pineapple. Now, I won't be able to sow all of these, I don't think. Well, I'm going to give it a go. What I might do is just sow two or two or two seeds of each, maybe. They're for me, so I'm not going to pass them on, you know what I mean? Ah, yeah, that's brilliant. And there's also some squash in here as well, so I'm chuffed a bit. I was, I was dithering whether, to, whether or not to do squash this year. Butterbush, um, butternut squash, couldn't think of the word. Butterbush, butternut, so mini one, little miniature ones, one, one person squash. Um, Yukichi Kuri, I've never actually grown those. Baby Blue Hubbard, now I've grown Blue Hubbard before, so looking forward to that one. Zephyr Winter Squash, Early White Summer Squash. See that Ali, you're a devil. I was dithering whether to do summer squash, but I've got to do them now, haven't I? And um, Partial Equips, Eclipse Summer Squash. So I shall be doing those. Thanks again, Ali. Right, I'm going to use the, the tray again for these, like I did with the Padron. So, uh, it's going to take a while. One, two. Here's one for you then. Don't wipe curry up with a tea towel. <laughs> it ruins a tea towel, but then again, it makes it a handy tea towel for gardening, eh? Mind you, who cares if a tea towel's dirty? It's not dirty, dirty. It's just stained, isn't it? You know what I mean? I can't see as many people are going to worry about a stained tea towel, but here. Yeah. Okay, I've got this one different here because some of these seeds, there's only uh, half a dozen of them, so I'm going to use labels and stick them in the back like that yeah i'll do and i've got i'm going to read these through very quickly elsa craig balcony red big mama <coughs> uh, black cherry crimson crush quad of you what's that bull's heart and there's something yeah uh gardener's delight uh Marmand, Moneymaker, Prima Bella, Raspberry Oxheart, three different lots of uh, Roma VF, Sweet Million, and Tumbling Tom. Tumbling Tom. So these are all for uh, resale. I may, I may keep one or two for myself, but we'll see. I think I've got enough anyway. <laughs> oh dear. So, right, Elsa Craig. Trying to work out how many to do. What's the common ones? Elsa Craig and Moneymaker, isn't it? Fifteen. A few. Ten, 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 ten. I'll tell you what, I'll do a row. And if I need more, I can do another row at the end, can't I? Yep. Right, here we go then, guys. I shall, as I say, bring you back later. Oh, that worked out quite well. Well, I've got um, quite a few seeds. I've doubled up on the, uh, the sow-ins, but yeah, these ones here, um, what were they? Prima Bella and Sweet Million. There's only five in, and five in that one and six in that packet. So uh, yeah, it's quite, 
quite expensive seeds, aren't they? Really, I mean, five seeds, two ninety nine. That's sixty p a seed, and the sweet million, six seeds, three ninety nine. That's fifty p. Yeah. No, more than that. Six and four, nearly, nearly seventy p a seed. What am I doing? I've done that. Push the uh, vermiculite on top, and I put those two in there because they're both the same. There we are then. So in a propagator, no need to wet them because if you notice the uh, that's the colour of the vermiculite dry there, and it's gone dark. Look, and it's going to rain anyway. That sky has gone black again, so I'm going to nip indoors, get these in the propagator, find some room first, and on with something else. See you in a minute. <laughs>